Well, the Super Bowl is big business and so is sports memorabilia. Today we found a San Francisco 49ers fan whose collection is so impressive, the 49ers organization is looking at it in hopes of adding a few pieces to their museum when their new stadium is finished. Our Kurt Sandoval has this unique story. If you're a Niners fan, welcome to Disneyland. I watched a guy named Joe Montana come into being, and then at that point I bought a pennant, and it was uh, one of the first Super Bowl pennants, and then it just blossomed from there. Michael May and his family moved into this home eight years ago and unleashed the dream that's been stored in boxes for decades. I didn't realize that I had this uh, John Brody, Brody, my hero, hero. This is from the 60s. What started as a clipping of John Brody as a kid growing up in Seattle in the 60s has evolved to a shrine of bricks, blankets, bobbleheads with Montana and Rice at the centerpiece. The reason I came here is we're putting together a Hall of Fame museum at the new stadium, so we're looking for artifacts. He calls this stuff memorabilia. This room is full of artifacts. And I walked in and I was like, what the heck? Michael has over 100 posters, some Mr. Walker helped design when he was with the 49ers. His items that he has from the, the 50s and the 60s are amazing. The 49ers don't have this stuff. I like the oddity as well, things that are off the, the beaten path. Items like the original slide used for the Time magazine cover of Joe Montana. In fact, one of his footballs was only given to coaches and staff after winning the Super Bowl. And then there's this game-worn helmet. The Niners came out and tried to do this whole press on the, the public saying this is our new logo. That lasted one day. Outcry was so loud that they, they squashed the idea. This is their first Super Bowl, and these are actual tickets, but somebody put them in plexiglass. Wow. It loses value because really? it's totally encased. Go Niners. There's no age limit on being a fanatic. Kurt Sandoval, ABC7 Eyewitness News.